Dear friends, welcome back to Automate with Rakesh. In this video, we are going to learn about the differences of link syntax when you write in vivi.net and when you write in C Sharp project. So let's see, I'm going to show you a demo at the end of this video. The very first thing, we will first analyze the codes. The very first screenshot is of link written in C Sharp. And the second one is a link written in vivi.net. This query is quite simple. You have seen many such queries written in vivi.net in my past videos. So this particular function is trying to check if the item contains peer, then trying to pull the quantity value from the data table. Now look at the two different queries. Here, let's understand the differences in the query, which is very important for you to understand link queries written in C Sharp. So what is the very first difference? The very first difference is Lambda expression syntax. C Sharp uses arrow syntax for Lambda expression. You can see it here. And then you write the X object and utilize the X object. Here in Vivi.net, you write function. Vivi.net uses the function keyword to define lambda expression. That is the first difference. Here it uses an arrow symbol. Here you have to write function in Vivi.net. Okay, so that is a clear evidence. That's why I have kept the screenshot to help you compare both the syntaxes. So you got the very first one, very important one. Moving on to our next slide. Here, if you see, C Sharp uses dot notation for method chaining. For example, if you have to write a second line, you simply have to hit enter and write dot first, it will continue. Let's say I want to bring it down. Anywhere there's a dot, you can bring it down and continue to write. C sharp won't return any kind of an error in your code syntax. Vivi.net uses a line continuation. This is an underscore. Here you can see after writing dt as enumerable, I've given a small space and then underscore and then I'm continuing my rest of the code. This is to improve the code readability. This is the second difference. Okay. Moving on to our next slide. Comparison operator. If you see here equals to equals to peer. Here you can write dot equals to or in some of the times you can also use a equal symbol. Vivi.net uses equals method for equality comparison or equals to symbol. Okay, but here in C sharp, you have to write in this way equals to equals to. This is again one more difference. Let's see the next difference. In C sharp, square brackets are used to access elements. For example, this is an element from data table, data row. This is one column. Now, to access that element, you have to write in square bracket, wherein in vivi.net, you can write that in parenthesis. Okay, so this is Again, a notable difference to note. Next, method calls. When I'm doing method calls, what happens? I have to ensure I have to write two string and then use a parenthesis here. Here also there is a parenthesis. But vivi.net, you can write or you, you can skip it. It gives you more freedom. While vivi.net allows for more flexibility in certain cases. So in certain cases, you don't have to write that parenthesis. For example, here, if you see, there's a parenthesis. But here in the vivi.net, it gives you that flexibility whether to write or not to write. Two string doesn't have a parenthesis, open and close parenthesis. But in C sharp, you have to have. Otherwise, it will throw error. This is again a notable difference. Now let's move on to UAPA Studio and see them all in live. On my UAPA Studio, I will first show you how do you create a C Sharp project. Because if you have to write a C Sharp code like this, which is written in C Sharp, by looking at this, you can understand. By looking at the Lambda symbol, you can understand this is a C Sharp code. Now, for the code to work, your project has to be built on C Sharp. For that, go to Home, click on Process. And here in the Process, in the Advanced option, click here and then ensure you are selecting C Sharp. So your project is made of, should be made of C Sharp and hit on create. For demo purpose, I have already created one C Sharp link. If I open it, you can see this is the C Sharp project. Similarly, I have kept another UiPath Studio instance open. This one is created on vivi.net. And here I have written the code in vivi.net. Both are the same code, but written in 
two different way now let's compare each of this code once again just to understand the differences so the different the very first difference is your lambda function it is written in vb.net and in this one it is written in uh, the previous one is written in c sharp the lambda function and here this one is written in vb.net getting it so all the screenshot you have seen all i am going to do now first let's run this in c sharp and see so couple of things i have mentioned if you don't write this what happens let's say i am not using a parenthesis you can you can see the error has appeared for example if i remove the parenthesis here you can see there is a error so like this the error might appear in the c sharp link query if you are not using parenthesis so parenthesis is one of the recommended way to start with and here you should have a square bracket i cannot access a element using a parenthesis you can see there is an error the moment i replace this with a square bracket in c sharp the error will vanish okay so let me first run this particular code and it is actually working on a excel file sheet number 6 and finding the peer value 1 you can see it is pulled the peer value 1 and on the vivid.net the same code I have written so here you have a lot of flexibility for example here if i am writing a parenthesis it won't stop you for example here i am putting a parenthesis you have got the flexibility okay this parenthesis are generally to pass certain parameters right so if i write it here you can see there's no error it gives the flexibility you can write it you don't write it doesn't matter then some of the some of the cases it is mandatory but mostly it will give you that flexibility so you can see it has got the value one so at the end we have learned the differences between both of the syntaxes i hope this video would add some valuable information while you are learning few more codes around c sharp which i'm going to present next